not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar bombs danced through their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When I'm on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, tore up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. All around the many goals, his horses they came, and he whistled and shouted, and he called them by name. Now dancer, now dancer, now prancer and dixer, I'm coming, I'm Tupin, I'm Dunner and Blitzen. Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. 
that was that was terrific. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, this was our this is our last show that we had, and I had such a wonderful time. You people of Cleveland are so kind and so nice to all of us, and and I must tell you, what an incredible uh, moment and memory in my life to stand at this stage with these incredible musicians and the incredible chorus back there. I shall always have this as a memory, and I thank you all. We both live in L.A., and I called him and I said, how would you like to spend two weeks in Cleveland in December? And he immediately said yes, right away. And uh, really, it's just so fantastic to have you. So we're going to talk, just for a second. First of all, Jamie is long from retired, even though Max went off the other. Yes, I'm uh, very lucky. I got yeah. a new, uh, I'm an irregular, regular on a new show on the Fox Network called The Cool Kids. I don't know if any of you have watched it. It's on Friday nights at 8 30. So uh, I, I'm doing, you know, everyone, I'm, as a matter of fact, I got two of them to do when I get back to L.A., but it's about a retirement home. <laughs> That's for me. That's it. That's it for me. So we were talk, talking about MASH, naturally, and we were talking about the various attempts to escape. Oh, yeah. The Max Klinger. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, one, one of the famous ones, you probably saw this, I think McLean Stevenson uh, wrote it. It's the one where I go with a hang glider and fuzzy pink slippers over the, uh, over the compound. I had those fuzzy pink slippers. So those are one of the things I took back when the, uh, when the show went off the air. I had the fuzzy pink slippers at my house. I'll show them to you. I'll wear them for you. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> Another one that was absolutely hysterical was the uh, one, and, and it was really hard. I mean, it's funny to read the script, but then when you say it, it is really funny. And Harry Morgan, who played Colonel uh, Potter on the show, we had the one where I came in in a black dress, and I was trying to get out by uh, telling him that I lost my two brothers in an explosion in the basement of the Toledo Harmonica factory. <laughs> Another one I said, I was trying to get across the Sea of Japan, and I had a, one, of the, uh, one of the, you know, the Florence Chapman kind of cap on, and they I had a, 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 it was an inflatable life raft, but it, it wasn't inflatable at the time, and they caught me, and, and Harry Morgan was sitting behind the desk in his office, and they bring me in, they, and they said, he was trying to get across the Sea of Japan, he said, son, you never would have made it. And I said, yes, I would, sir, I had this raft. And I pulled the string on it, and the raft inflates. And this, this is on film. Next time you watch this, they left this in the film. It, it blew Harry right across the floor. He <laughs> fell right over on the floor. You'll hear it go, oh! So be sure and watch that one. So one other thing. I, I want you to know a little a personal side of Jamie. He is married to an angelic lady, and you've been married for how long? 55 years. Oh, yeah. I, I always, the, the, the orchestra knows this, I always called them the band. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I, I always said, you know, I've been with the same, I'm in Hollywood, I've been with the same woman for 55 years. Everybody applauds, I said, yeah, I hope my wife doesn't find out about it. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much. Thank you you so bless much. us for your being here thank in you. town. <laughs> and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, stay well, and God bless you all. You have all been so kind to me. I shall take this back with me as my memory. Thank you.